1858, North India was in turmoil after the first war of Indian independence. But deep down south in Bangalore, all was calm. A British cantonment had come up and a new school had started to cater to the European and Anglo-Indian children of the city, St. Joseph's Boys High School. It wasn't called by that name back then, nor was it at its present location. It was called St. Joseph's Seminary and was at St. John's Hill in present-day Fraser Town. It was started by Catholic priests. They were known as the Paris Foreign Mission. In 1894, the Paris Foreign Mission decided to relocate the school and purchased a plot of land on Museum Road. It was called Rocklands. By 1898, a new school building had come up and was to remain there for a hundred years till the school was rebuilt. The turn of the century saw war clouds gather. In 1914, when World War I broke out, about 369 old boys went to fight for king and country. The school magazine, which started in 1910, chronicles their stories of bravery and sacrifice. Around the time that the war ended, an alumni association was started. The Old Boys Association was established. It has branches all over the world and provides an excellent support system to students past and present. In 1921, the school decided to honor those who had died fighting at war. The war memorial was unveiled under the statue of St. Joseph. It honors those who died in subsequent wars as well. In 1937, the Paris Forum Mission handed over the management of the school to another order of Catholic priests called the Society of Jesus, or Jesuits as they are popularly known. The Jesuits inherited a school which rested on a firm foundation and they set about shaping it according to Jesuit values. They also had to steer the school through the period of Indian independence and they changed the name of the school from St. Joseph's European High School to St. Joseph's Boys High School. In 1958, the school celebrated its centenary year. President Rajendra Prasad presided over the celebrations. As the years rolled on, the school became well known for its holistic education, for its excellence in sports and spirit of service. Its alumni were appointed to high offices. They won national awards and brought glory to school in diverse fields. What Josephites are perhaps best known for is their sporting spirit. Perhaps St. Joseph's is the only school in India which has 10 Olympians and one test cricket captain as part of its illustrious old boys. By the 1990s, Time had taken its toll on the old stone building. With the generous help of old boys, the principal, Father Michael John, rebuilt the school on the footprint of the old one. The concert hall and the small dorm are the only parts of the old building which stand even today. In 2008, the school celebrated its 150th year. Ex-President Abdul Kalam presided over the celebrations. The sesquicentenary was marked by the release of a book titled Faith and Toil by Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Rago, who wrote a well-researched history of the school. Many festivities were conducted. A first day cover and stand were released as well. In 2015, the sports complex was inaugurated at the far end of the field. It included the area of the old swimming pool and the multi-purpose hall. It contains not just sports facilities, but hobby rooms, a food court, the OBA office and a seminar hall as well. As time goes on, the school is ever-changing and never-changing.
it is ever changing when it comes to adapting itself, as was the case during the pandemic. When it comes to core values and the upholding of the Jesuit ethos, school doesn't change or waver. As one enters the school, our eyes briefly rest on the statue of St. Joseph, our patron. His kindly gaze, his steadying hand on the shoulder of the little child Jesus has been a source of solace to generations of Josephites. This for them is not just school, it's their home. St. Joseph's will always be a much cherished part of their lives for all times to come.